and see how she navigates that. Um, and pretty immediately, as soon as we get to camp, both of us are like, we miss our boyfriends. So that was really fun to portray. <laughs> Last season, we saw Ashlyn get the lead role in Beauty and the Beast. Uh, we we really got to see her shine as Belle and grow and gain that confidence. So what is season three going to look like for her? Wow. Yeah. I mean, she's definitely starting on the note where she left off, which is in this place of extreme comfort and gratification. And she's really found herself in the previous season. And so to to take all of those qualities and throw her into a brand new environment um, was was really exciting and um, and fun to sort of navigate and see how she fits into this brand new world after really settling into East High and really finding herself. So um, I'm really excited for audiences to see um, where she goes from there and if you know, if she gets shaken up a little bit. All right. And then Frankie, we have Carlos, who has also had a lot of growth throughout the show. A large part of that has been because of Miss Jen and his friends. So what's it going to look like when he goes to this new camp with new people? Um, is it kind of going to take him out of his comfort zone a little bit? Oh, yeah. I mean, we definitely see Carlos taken out of his comfort zone. I mean, just the meaning of camp alone and being a, like outdoors and being in a bunk with all smelly boys. I think his comfortability is definitely rattled. So we'll get to see him kind of have to like come into his own <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, then we also have both of your characters were in relationships when we last saw them. Of course, we have Ashlyn and Big Red and we have Seb and Carlos. So what is kind of going on with those? What's their status given the changes of scenery this season? Um, Julia, if you would like to start. Yeah, I think um, uh, I don't know if I if I can speak for Carlos as well, but I think Ashlyn is is finding herself in a pretty like codependent relationship with Big Red at the moment. And so it's really interesting to see her leave him for an entire session of camp and see how she navigates that. Um, and pretty immediately, as soon as we get to camp, both of us are like, we miss our boyfriends. So that was really fun to portray. <laughs> Um, you know, Sebi's a working boy and Carlos has to respect that the cows are not going to milk themselves. So, you know, as hard as it was to not be with him, he still respects his choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. And then this is also the first season that's not taking place at the high school, at the home of the Wildcats. Uh, this is taking place at the summer camp. So how is this change of scenery going to kind of switch things up? Um, Frankie, if you'd like to start this one. Yeah, you know, I think Shallow Lake kind of is its own character, just like how East High is its own character and it brings its own like energy into the show. And so it's exciting to go to this new place because um, one, it's beautiful there. It really is like a perfect backdrop for a show. So um, to get to see that and kind of like see the little pockets that they're going to go off and like do stuff in, um, it's exciting. And I think people are going to want to go to Camp Shallow Lake after this. <laughs> Yeah, I think it actually changes everything. And I don't even think that the Wildcats are expecting um, to have a summer of, you know, unexpected adventures. And, you know, um, mm. so I, I don't think I don't think anybody is prepared for what goes on at Camp Shallow Lake. Hey, awesome. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for your time. And I cannot wait for the new season.